want to be considering this high and low, high and low gather stop. It's just as easy as A and B and C. Once you know how to achieve your gathers and you're, you're good to go or anything. So you can see we have this part, the upper part that is serving as if it's the yoke. This upper part, we have it as the yoke. Then we have the main body. This is the main body. This main body, you see I did two front here. Your front could be as high as this. It could be this length. But the back will be lower than the uh, what's it called the front that's why it's called the high and the low but if you don't want it you could just achieve same length for your back and front there are no hard and fast rules about it yours could be as high as this and the back would be as low as this or it could just be this way and it could be this way so it's it's either for whatever you choose to achieve so this the gathers point is from this main body you make an allowance for the gathers this is how to go about achieving it this is your neckline for the front while the fabric is folded into two as you're going to see when we start right now. Then this is the yoke part. This is the yoke part. Then this is the gathers. To achieve your gathers, you have to create allowance for that. So you could create 5 inches, 4 inches, 6 inches, 7 inches, 8 inches. It all depends on how full you want the gathers to be. And remember, gathers depends on the available material you have, the available fabric you have. So you add the inches that way, then you now take your measurements. You take your measurements, you get your waist, you get your hips. Then the highest point, the longest part of the top, that's where the hair. So from there, you have the shortest part that you want for the shortest length for the front then. Longest length for the back, that's it. Then just shape it from there and get it. You had your seam allowance. Also to the yoke part, you had your seam allowance. Then this the back, just as as this also. But this is just longer than this. So it's as easy as A and B and C. We'll be using this following measurement parameters. Just 39. Shoulder to nipple 10. Then we have half length, 14 and a half. We have hips, 41. Then for the blouse length, we have the eye blouse. That's the front panel that will be high. That will be up. We have it to be 24 inches. Then the lower part to be 31 inches. Then we have waist to be 34. So let's just get started. To achieve this yoke, just place it this way. This yoke, as you can see this, it all depends on where you want it to start from. It can start from like two inches before your boss, your nipple point. It can start from here. That's this shoulder to like eight inches here. To like eight inches. That's like two inches before the nipple point. So it could start on this eight or it could start on nine. It all depends on you. So I'm going to make it start on eight. This uh, yoke. So from shoulder to eight inches, thereabouts, it's going to start. So let's just get started. So this is my origin. Just come this way. I achieve my back measurements. The back is 15 inches, 15 inches. Plus sewing allowance, I could add one inch sewing allowance. So I'll achieve my ample. Old is 18 divided by 2, that's 9. So I could just make it 8 and a half. Be on the safer side. So after achieving my handhold this way, the yoke, I said I want to make it 8 inches. In 
8 inches, this 8 inches, then on the armhole position, it's going to come down by 2 inches or thereabouts. So, making this point my bust line, oh, I'm even making it this 8 and the half inches. Of. So, making this point my bust line, this way. I'll just achieve my bust measurement. My bust measurement is 39. 39 divided by 4 will give us eight three nine three quarter inches. So this is nine three quarter inch. So on this ammo position, we come down by two inches to achieve the yoke. So, as you can see how it goes, how the yoke goes. So, just from this point this way, you trace it to this two inches below. this to achieve my yoke then my neckline I may not cut it right out right now I could just achieve three inches three inches by five and a half inches this way so we have a yoke to be this way as you can see it so a yoke is this way right now so we want to get the lower part of the top the lower part of the top so in getting this we we'll need more allowance you need to Keep the extent of your fold. Why? For the gathers, I'm going to be using like seven inches or thereabouts. So it all depends on what you want to use. So you have to create that allowance for the gathers. Here, as you can see it from this, we are going to see it now. So you have to create that allowance for the gathers. Apart from your normal measurements. That means my divided, uh, the highest part of my measurements is what? Of this measurement is, it's 41. And 41 will divide by 4 because this front panel is into 2 fold, back into 2 fold. 41 divided by 4 will give us 10 and a half inches. 10 and a half inches. Then I'll leave 7 inches allowance for, to achieve the, what's it called? This gathers. So it is, I think this extent of the fold is okay. You could add 4 inches for the gathers, 5 inches, 6 inches, 7 inches, or thereabout. It all depends on how full you want the gathers to be. So in achieving this, you just bring the yoke. Let's just achieve. Just come this way and achieve a starting point here. For this my yoke, I have to show you something, please. Here, 
I've made that allowance without telling you. Remember I told you that I could make it 8 inches. I could make it 8 inches before the nipple point. I could make it 2 inches away from the nipple point. So that's 8 inches. So you leave half inch for sewing allowance. So this quarter inch, I could actually sew. There is a quarter inch allowance here. I could actually sew on this quarter inch. So, but it said you leave half inch for sewing allowance. So you shape on that half inch. Please note. So, so that your sew will not be short. And I now come this way. I place it here this way. I want to achieve the other part. That's the main body for the dress. So I just place it here this way. I want to leave this allowance for my what's it called? My gathers. I could just even make my starting point here. Because this I'm going to add up in sewing allowance. See this allowance. You see, I've left seven inches allowance here for what? For the gathers. So let me just place it in this way. Leave five, six, seven, four. So I'm leaving this for the gathers. Really straight down. That's what we have here. So the extent of the ruling will be determined by the length. So you come here, you leave half inch on this position. You leave half inch. Why are you leaving half inch? Sewing allowance for the main body. Remember, I told you you leave half inch here on the yoke. Then you leave half inch also this way. So you just achieve your half inch here this way. On this extreme. Leave half inch here. This will be starting from that's the sewing allowance for the main body. So, having gotten it this way, you now take your tape room to get the highest length of the top. The highest length of the top we have 31 inches. 31 inches. So let's get the shortest first. For the highest length, one, 31 inches. I had one inch for turning in. Taking 32 this way, then the, the shortest length as the high, the shortest length is 24 inches. So, you see how you place your table? You place it on the yoke this way to get the length of the top. So, you see. Starting from this, so I get the length of the top 30, 30 plus 1, 31. Then the short, the, the shorter length is 24 inches. So I'll just extend this. So with this right now, and remember I've added half inch for this words. I've 
provided up in here for this for the sewing allowance for the main body so extend my seven inches this way and I'll draw it out the extent of this my fold is not going to be enough because I'm still going to add sewing allowance so I'll have to shift a bit because I'll be adding two inches sewing allowance or thereabouts is automatically I'll get my seven inches again okay I'm going to do with this extent so I have to do this because I discovered there was no allowance for my sewing please should get the extent of your fold the number of inches you want to use to achieve your gathers then your normal measurement the biggest part of your measurement the biggest part of my measurement is 10 and quarter 10 and a half that's uh, 41 divided by 4 10 and quarter then I had 2 inches sewing allowance so with this, the extent of my food is just okay now. That's why there is nothing big there. It's just as easy as A and B and C. right now this way I'm believing Starting from here, so I'll leave this half inch allowance. This half inch allowance, sewing allowance, the joining allowance for the upper part. So that means it's going to be this way. So add some inches here. Also add one inch here. Remember this now my normal seven inches allowance 
for gathers. This for gathers. Allowance for gathers. Gathers allowance. So, remember I told you, I'm going to leave. going to leave half inch the sewing allowance here. This I'm determining my origin as here. Because from this point, this is my origin. I've decided to use this line as my origin. From here, I'll achieve 24 here. So this line, this middle line, is my origin for my main body. So this is the origin. Then I'll place it on this 7 inches that this way. 7 inches allowance for gathers this way. Then you locate half inch. Half inch for sewing allowance this way. And this is string. This is the half inch. So from here I'll just fold it out. Just this way, then I'm going to achieve my normal measurement parameters. Then I had one and a half inches to this. Stretch it out. Then my normal measurements, this has increased the bust. In our post to be nine three quarter inches, so this is nine nine three quarter nine three quarter inch. So I'm going to add two inches so in allowance to it. Then from there, I have what my waistline waistline i told you waistline i'm using 14 and a half waistline 14 and a half so you just get your 14 and a half this way you know the yoke is still there 14 and a half plus sewing allowance oh, oh i'm not cutting on the waist so just 14 and a half then hips the dress hip, the blouse hip, from your highest part of your shoulder, you get the biggest part of your hips for the blouse. So let me check 23. See, something 23 would be okay for me or 24. So that's, I could even just achieve it here on this short line. So I'll make it, I'll make the hips line. I will make it 23 or 22, anyhow. And this is the waistline. line is the hips so on this waistline I achieve the waist the waist is 34 34 divided by 
four will give us eight and a half. Remember, we are starting from this point. These are Gada's scores. Then we took the, the allowance, the one that did not give us enough allowance. So this eight and a half, I'll add two inches, so in allowance. Then Ips line, Ips is 41, that's 10 and quarter. 10 and quarter. Add two inches so in allowance. Then I'll connect the lines this way. I've added one and a half inches to shape this point this way. This is the bottom line. Remember this place will be curved. Should not be sharp edge. Then you just achieve your plane downwards. This way, like this you come out with the lower part of your thing, and this all this will form the gathers. We have created an allowance for the gathers for the shape of the gathers here. So, with this, you'll be very good to go. And this, having gotten it this way, we have seen the extent of this, our longest, what's it called, our longest length, our longest length with the yoke gave us 31 inches, gave us 31 inches. So, and our shortest length, according to our measurements, a shortest length, that, that is the one that will form the height, is 24 inches. And that is the 24 inches here. Just make sure you achieve it using your yoke. Uh, 24 inch so what we do we just try to curve it as you can see from this pattern that I've drawn out we try to curve it this line we try to curve it down to this point this way look at it we curve it to meet the we curve it to meet the highest point of the top so you just come this way, from this allowance, you come this way, you just trace it this way. So with this, you just have something like this, here, here the straight. Just like that. Thank you. 
themselves. These do not like this. By the time we cut out your neckline, I don't want to cut it now. Then you form your gathers using your machine. So you're going to be having it something this way, as you can see. So you're going to form the gathers, the neckline will be there. Then this will be the this part you're seeing. This will be the high front. This will be the high front. So you see now we've got in the front, this is the gathers point. Let me just use paint to achieve it. You achieve your gathers using your machine. So you can see, by the time you achieve your gathers this way, you can see the shape. The front line will be this way. In gathers, you have your neckline. The round neckline that we've achieved. Then this is the front. It's like you have the scholar thing you just so then it will have as if it's a waterfall effect. Then right now this is the front panel, just as easy as here and B and C. We now achieve our back panel. For your back panel, if you want to affix zipper to it, you just make an allowance this way for the zipper. But if you want the front and back neckline to be seen this way, so that you just wear it as low as low as the front is, the back will also be low like that. I don't think you need the zipper. So it all depends on what you want to achieve. If you want the front and back to be low, remember it will just be easy for you to wear. And remembering the fact that the gathers is from before the nipple point, so it will be easy to go in. But if you want the zipper, if you're not using somebody like me that don't really like uh, and I don't really like low back so in the gathers I may not really need to add this uh, what is it called zip allowance or and, and then we had it it all depends I could just get the zip allowance from the gathers from that several inches gathers at the back It's not necessary to add zits if you are just making the back so low as the front. It's not necessary to begin to add all this. So just like this, just cut out. And don't forget, if you are cutting, to put your half inch allowance because there is allowance here. That's why I'm leaving it so that you achieve your exact measure that you want to achieve.
back panel just this way I told you if you want to add this uh, what's it called one inch there is no crime if you just add it such that you have it this way but you can always get it from the gathers from the gathers so if you want to add it make sure this one is this way we already add this front as a pattern so we have it this way so the difference just look at the the difference is just that this back is going to come down this way it's not going to go this way it's going to come down this way it's going to come down it's going to come down this way so I meet the eye. I'll make it this way. Just come down this way. So I should have drawn it this way. Instead of going, it's going to come down this way to meet this. What's it called? So we have it this way now. This longest part must be same for both the front and the back. Must be same. So, what do we want to achieve right now? So, I'll just achieve it this way. Okay, to achieve the back panel, having cut out the back yoke this way, this is a better picture, a better diagram of the back panel. So you see this is the longest measurement, that's the longest length of the top. Then these are its goals, just like this. You know the back will be longer than the front. As you can see, this front is this way. So we just place a yoke and a front panel this way, the back yoke and the front panel this way. See, with this, we've gotten the longest measurement, which is this point, this point 32. So, see how it goes. As you can see, see how it goes. So, this longest part, you know, for the front panel and the back panel, this edge, they must be the same. The two side widths, the two side uh, M line for the dress, for the top, I mean, it must be the same. So, this, so it will just be covered this way, then it will come straight curve a bit this way to come to this allowance so with this you have your Just have it curving its way this way, and it will come straight down. So with 
this. We are good to go for the back. This you can see right now that the front is already high and the back is low. The front panel is already high this way as you can see and the back is already low. So that's just the front and the high and low gather stock for you. And if you use a material that that, that it's really falling, like all these light materials, like flowery materials that succulent that that it, it falls, it's really be beautiful. So what do you do? Just cut out the shape. allowance is for the zipper don't forget this will be the same the back to really be curvy a bit too at the edge this way so that's just how you achieve it so you can see by the time you had your yoke the yoke for the front panel now I can now cut my neckline once I'm true you can cut your neckline for the back neckline I'll be using same if you are using remember I told you that if you are using same neckline as low as the front like this you may not need the what is it called the zipper so this is already three by five and a half so yeah i'll be using same three by two i don't like low back line three by two or two and a half so you just cut out that way and remember that three you must if you are using zipper you must make an allowance for your zip and not start this way it's going to extend this way just like that so you just cut out your neckline Slant your shoulder to be by one or one and a half inches. Going to slant it by one and a quarter.
cut out your neck like this way. See, this is how your uh, gathers dress will be. Just could try to achieve the gathers on your machine. One thing you take note of while sewing is that you measure this, you measure what you have here. What do you have here? This almost 20 and a half inches. So by the time you are achieving your gathers, the gathers you should achieve should not be less than that 20 and a half. So that by the time you'll be joining, this thing that is going to be lovely. time you apply your gathers this way using your machine it's going to come out this way so you just you could do a facing on it you know you may not be able to line this uh, to line it so you could just put up lining that's why you should use succulent materials that may not even need lining but you could do facing on this your your yoke so by the time you just join this way by the time you sew it this way Just add it this way. Just add it this way. So it's going to come out this way. So on half inch as you measured it, this is no alignment just not on half inch, this is more than half inch. You just saw an half inch or quarter inch, whatever inch you've added as sewing allowance, that's what you sew on. So you just be having something like this for the front panel. You're having something like this. This should be the eye. Then for the back panel, I'm not cutting my zipper right now, and I've not really decided whether I'm still going to make it low. So let me just cut the lower part. When I'm sewing, I'm going to determine maybe I'll make it low as the front. Right now, I'm not decisive about that. So let me just cut it short. If I'm going to decide to be low, I can always adjust it. I'm not going to cut the zipper part. So you could just try to achieve the gathers there as well. And you see how it comes out. as low as the 
fronts. So you could just do it like that. I think the best thing is not even to affix a zipper. You affixing a zipper will actually be will not be funny. So just try to make the front. That was why I was indecisive about the, the time when I want to sew, I'll have to make this neckline, back neckline. I'll adjust it to be as low as this front neckline so that I could just put it on this way. I could just put it on and I will not be needing any zipper. So that space for zipper, I could just take it away. So it's, it's good if you don't even put any zipper. You just make sure the back is as low as the front and it's easy for you. Just this way, you see. So this just is so this will just come down like this. So you have this this standing as this will stand as the what? As the high as the high and this. So it's just as easy as that. So let me see how yours comes out. So we see again. Bye.